My favorite picture, though, and, I, and the picture which I feel will outlive you, and I do want you to live very long, uh, is uh, Sonia and Priyanka. That moment, uh, it is a, uh, so. Uh, actually, when I talk about photographs uh, with, a, with a photographer, I'm reminded of a line in the film Birdman, which is just there on the mirror. A thing is a thing, not what is said about the thing. It's a great reprimand to all writers. You can stop talking. Okay, sometimes you can't say anything more than what it is. So, uh, so at any point you you want to say that, you feel free to say it. Oh, it, it is. It's the story of my life. So you said it perfectly. You know, you go to all these art exhibitions with these two-page curatorial notes telling you, and you know, and creating things out of nothing. I'm a complete believer. If you have something to say, just put it out there. Don't write a subtext. Don't do all of that. If it stands by itself, it'll stand. And he's right. Uh, Saloni's wrong about Saloni. That picture, I didn't bully Sonia Gandhi uh, into posing, or uh, it is. It was a spontaneous image. I was photographing her portraits, and I suddenly saw Priyanka come and touch. So that love and affection that you see was genuine. I couldn't have, couldn't have created that. I mean, I, I can do sums, but I can't do all of that. Uh, see, among uh, posh people of North India, the, great, the deepest political analysis for a long time was Priyanka should enter politics and then something will happen. But what do you think uh, of Priyanka, that you've shot her and you've spent a lot of time with her? No, I haven't spent a lot of time with her, but what I think is uh, she's certainly much more, her ability to engage with people is far bigger than uh, Rahul because she's, well, and has Hindi is also better. And I think, I think she's, there's a natural propensity of people to like Sonia a little more than they like Rahul. Now, and having said that, I think she might make a good politician, you know, because I feel there's a certain degree of genuine honesty, honesty about her. And, uh, and I am I'm the last person to say that uh, Rahul Gandhi or the Congress, first of all, I must tell you, the Congress party and the first family of Indian politics is rather inscrutable. Despite having spent time with them, nobody can really say what they really like. It's shocking for me to sit at conversations and quorum and listen to senior commentators and columnists and when I know perfectly well they have met the first family perhaps once or twice or at best three times in their lives. But they all speak with such largeness and such close proximity to the power that be, which is a complete lie. I see that of most journalists and that's been one of the very revealing things about journalism, the reason, uh, next to artists, I think that journalists are also a very diabolical race, you know. I feel that most journalists don't have the kind of access, but they just... They just pretend. And also I'll tell you, for all the journalists who pretend that they hate the Modi government and they would, you know, like, they can't stand them. If they were given half an inch into that room, if Amit Shah had left even the door open, they would go in and bend and prostrate on the ground. But they don't give them that chance. <laughs>